BTEC Applied Science writing a research report. This is something that my lot are going to have to do in year two. Okay, start with a question, how do you climb a mountain? If you're at the bottom of a mountain and you look up and you think, blimey, how on earth am I going to be able to do that? Well, a couple of tips. Move in the correct direction. Move towards the top of the mountain. That's a good tip. Uh, you can't do it all at once. You won't get it all done in a couple of hours. Uh, you take your time, you split it up, you plan your progress. On the first day, you're going to do that. On the second day, you're going to do that. On the third day, you're going to do that. And if you keep going, you will reach the top of the mountain. And you take care. You make sure that you're doing the right thing. Now, this is obviously an analogy uh, for writing a report. Okay? Now, before you start writing your report, you should have a few things. You should have the official assignment brief, which your teacher will give you. You should have some detailed criteria for past merit and distinction, uh, which your teacher will use to mark your work, and it may be moderated as well using this, and a summary of the information that you need to contain in your report. Now, the assignment brief uh, will give you some kind of a context that you're supposed to present your information in. It, it may say something like, you work for a magazine and your job is to produce a, an article on blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's just giving you context. It doesn't actually give you a great deal of detail. What is very important is the criteria for past merit and distinction. You must, must look at these carefully if you don't do everything it says for a pass, then you don't get a pass. If you don't do everything it says for a merit, you don't get a merit, etc., etc. It's in the specification. Uh, your teacher will probably give you a copy of it. And then the information that you need to contain, again, that is in the specification. And uh, your teacher will probably give you a copy of it. Uh, he or she may even spend some time in, in lessons going through it, especially through the, the difficult stuff. Although for a research report, you should really be finding out this information for yourself. Now, let's look at an example. This is Unit 16 Astronomy, and it's for learning aims C and D. There's A, there's B, and there's C and D together. And, and this is just for pass standard. This is learning aim C and D for pass standard. Never mind merit and distinction. This is just for a pass. And when you look at this, you think, blimey, that's a that's a mountain. There's so much stuff in there. And and there is actually. There's an awful lot of stuff in there that you need to do. But just think about climbing the mountain. You don't have to do it all at once. Plan your progress, do it bit by bit. Now, probably giving you more help than I'm supposed to, how do you actually go about doing it? Well, the first thing you should do is produce some kind of a, a skeleton, a skeleton that you can add flesh and bone to later on, or rather uh, flesh to later on. Uh, start with the contents page. Think about what the different sections are going to be. Uh, you're going to start with an introduction. You, you might actually, probably a good idea to do the introduction last, yeah, because then you know what your report's all about. But you're going to have a contents page showing the different sections and then create a new page for each section. I'm not saying that each section is going to be a page long, but create a new page for each of your sections, then save your work and back it up. Always keep a backup of your work. If you say to your teacher, oh, I'm sorry, my, my cat at my laptop or whatever, uh, that's not a satisfactory excuse. You are expected to back up your work regularly. OK, so looking again at this, these criteria for a pass, uh, you could go through it with a highlighter and try and figure out what your different sections are going to be. It appears that the first part of it is to do with kind of space flight and humans in space. Um, the middle bit, an awful lot about stars there. 
Hurt Sprung Russell, I don't know, blimey, what the hell's that? Um, Redshift, Big Bang, oh, I've kind of heard of that. After, after thinking about it for some time, I've decided that I'm going to have three main sections. The first one on space flight, uh, the second one about stars, and the third one about the evolution of the universe. Okay, and then with each, within each big section, I'll have some smaller sections. And within these, I reckon I can include all of the information that I'm supposed to. Notice that it wants a couple of diagrams as well, some nice posters. There's lots of diagrams like HR diagrams on the internet that you can basically copy. Okay, uh, all of this information is on the internet. There's a huge amount of information on the internet. Your job is to research it, it's to find it and to present it and to explain it. Okay, so these would be my sections, my subheadings as well. Um, of course, yours may be very different to these as long as the information is there. In fact, I do suggest you don't just copy these. I mean, make an effort, do your own. Okay, at some point, look at merit and distinction. Hopefully, uh, you're not all just going for a pass. You know, if you go for a merit, if you can get a merit distinction, even if you're only on a, a pass at the moment, you can still boost your overall grade. So look at merit and distinction and then think about adding stuff to your report.